Hey, good morning, Westfield. Uh, November 11th, big day, uh, Veterans Day. Uh, once again here in Westfield, it's always a, a fun day because we usually have uh, some kind of ceremonies. Uh, I know we've been to the uh, um, middle school several times over the years. Great presentation there the kids put together, but don't have much of that going on this <laughs> year. Hey, we have with us our own city councilor, Scott Willis, this morning, who is also uh, in the service, uh, a veteran, yes, but he's uh, he's still serving. Scott, welcome, happy Veterans Day, and Thank you, man. tell us what you're what you're doing. I mean, you're like Marine Corps. I am. You got am. the haircut. You're. It's getting a little long. Starting to look like a hippie, right. as my kids would say. So I've been the Marine Corps now 29 years, and uh, I'm going to be retiring next year. So we're coming to the end of a long journey. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my job now, so I travel all over the country, and I inspect reserve units uh, to ensure they're ready to deploy. If the president, you know, if a war happens or a crisis happens and we need to mobilize Marines, our job is to make sure they're ready to go. And so, like last week, I was in Los Angeles all week. The week prior, I was in New Orleans. And so it's uh, it's challenging juggling city council. I have obviously a civilian job, and then you know trying to be a marine on top. Doing of all that. that that is that is remarkable. Hey, earlier this week I, I got to speak to the Indianapolis Service Club, which is a uh, a group down in Indy uh, has really members from all over the the uh, metro area, about 150, uh, mostly uh, elderly, retired uh, veterans from all four services. And uh, the Marines there reminded me that <laughs> yesterday was a very special day in the Marine was, Corps, right? It was. You know on Facebook when it's the Marine Corps birthday, it explodes with Marines uh, celebrating our, our Corps' birthday 245 years. Wow. So That's very impressive. Well, you know, in the, in the uh, several years that I've known you now, uh, it seems like quite often you'll say to me, well, Andy, I got to... I got to go serve. I'll be back in a couple weeks. I'm like, well, how does, how do you do that? I mean, first of all, you touched a little bit about what you do, but uh, I mean, that's got to be so hard. Family, job, now you're in the city council. I mean, how do you go away for two weeks and come back and pick up? How does that work? That's the exact question my wife asked me <laughs> before I leave the house. So it's, you know, I've been doing it for 29, well, 24 years in the reserves. So you just kind of get used to it, but um, you know it's it's challenging. I left last week, and my son had a lacrosse tournament, basketball game, basketball practice. My daughter's in lacrosse. My other daughter's in tennis. We got finals this week at Westfield. So just a, a variety of things happening. My wife, she works. She's a realtor. She works, you know, full time. Yeah. So it's it's challenging, but uh, you know you get you get used to it. My kids still struggle with it. When they find out that I'm leaving, they get a little clingy with me, Aww. which is great. I love it. It's the only time I get hugs from them is when they know I'm leaving. But, uh, but, it's, but it's rewarding as well. I mean, I love serving my country, and, and I wouldn't change a thing. It's time. I'm ready to uh, call it quits, but um, it's been extremely rewarding. So, big question. Why do you do this? <laughs> You know, the general in our uh, division calls it irrational call to service. Because when you think about what we do in the reserves, uh, I make very little money doing it. It has huge impacts on my family. Uh, I've been deployed to Iraq, um, and so obviously that has huge ramifications as well. But it's in my blood, you know. My great-grandfather was Marine. Both my grandfathers served in World War II. My one grandfather was killed in action. My dad, my uncles were all Marines, so it's just... You know, I was kind of raised in a family where we were taught to serve, and that's, it's in my blood. I love it. Gee, well, that's very impressive, and I know Scott uh, uh, represents a whole lot of uh, veterans around here. So here in Westfield, you see a veteran, tell them thank you, will you? And get those flags out, and let us, let us never forget what these guys have done. You heard Scott say he's been in, in Iraq twice. I mean, most of our young kids... I'm not even sure they know where Iraq is, Scott, <laughs> but uh, anyway, honor our veterans today and uh, stay safe and wear your masks again, Westfield.